Hello, my name is Fabian Labat. I'm a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'll show you how to use policy validation, a new IAM access analyzer feature that help you author policies faster and securely. IAM access analyzer makes it easier to implement least privileged permissions by analyzing resource policies and help you identify and resolve unintended public or cross account access. Now, we are extending policy analysis in IAM Access Analyzer by adding over 100 policy checks and actionable recommendations. These checks help you proactively validate your permission policies during policy authoring to set secure and functional permissions. The checks include functional validation like developers might expect from a linter and go beyond that to evaluate best practices in granting access. These checks analyze your policy and report security warnings, errors, general warnings, and suggestions based on their impact. Let's now navigate to the IEM console and create a new policy using the JSON editor. I'll show you an example where IEM Access Analyzer reports a security warning where your policy grants access to pass any role to any service, which is overly permissive. The security warning includes a recommendation that you scope down the permissions to pass a specific role instead. Now, I'll update my policy using the guidance provided by IAM Access Analyzer and restrict the IAM pass role to my approved IAM role for Amazon EC2. Once I update the policy, the security warning in the policy validation tab is resolved and disappears. Let's create another policy that allows the scribe table action to a specific DynamoDB table in the US West 2 region. IAM Access Analyzer found two errors and one suggestion in our policy. The first error detected is an invalid account number. AWS account numbers must be 12 digits long. We are missing a number. Let's fix it. The second error is an invalid region in the requested region condition. We change US West 3 to the intended region US West 2. Now that Access Analyzer also has a suggestion. We had a redundant action. My intention was to allow only the scribe table and not the scribe star. Let's remove the redundant action. We now have a secure and error-free policy. With IAM Access Analyzer, you can proactively validate existing and new policies during policy authoring time in the AWS console, and also programmatically using the AWS CLI and the IAM Access Analyzer API. Thank you.